rate, unit rate, and better buy. We are actually going to be splitting this into two separate videos. So this first video is simply going to cover unit rate and rate, okay? And then the second video will be better buy. So let's go ahead and get started with rate and unit rate. First, we need some vocab. So rate is a ratio that compares two different units of measure. A unit rate is a rate whose denominator is one, like miles per hour. I can drive 30 miles in one hour on this specific road. A unit price is a rate that tells you the price for one unit, such as the price of one can of Sprite in a six pack. So you may notice that unit means one. Express each ratio as a unit rate. Well, the first thing I would suggest doing is referencing your notes to see what a unit rate is. So we're aiming for a denominator of one. And so our ratio here is 120 words in three minutes. Well, I want to know how many words I can do in one minute. So we need to have 120 words as our numerator and three minutes as our denominator. In order to figure out a unit rate, we can simplify this ratio. So I want to get a one on the bottom. How do I make three equal one? Well, I divide by three. And whatever I do to the denominator has to be done to the numerator, so I also divide by three. 120 divided by three is 40, so that's 40 words over. And then three divided by three is one, and that was minutes, so we have one minute. 40 words in one minute. That is our unit rate because we have a denominator of one. 240 miles in six hours. We need to find a unit rate here. Are we finding miles per hours or are we finding hours per mile? Well, typically we think in terms of miles per hour. So that means 240 miles is going to be our numerator and then we have six hours as our denominator. And a unit rate is a rate whose denominator is one, so we want to figure out how do we make six equal one. Well, that's easy. We divide by six. And whatever we do to the top has to be done to the bottom as well. So both top and bottom must be divided by six. 240 divided by six is 40. So we have 40 miles. And then six divided by six is one. So we have one hour. And our unit rate here is 40 miles in one hour, or 40 miles per hour. Five soft drinks for $3.25. Well, what's going to make the most sense here? Are we going to try to find out how many drinks we can get for $1? Or how many um, dollars it is per drink? Um, it makes the most sense to figure out how much it's going to cost for one drink. So that means I'm actually going to be putting the $3.25 up top and five drinks on the bottom because I want to know how much it will cost for one drink and so we want the one as our denominator. To get that we can divide both top and bottom by five and so when we do that we get 65 cents on the top, 325 divided by five is 65 cents. And then five drinks divided by five is one drink. So it's $65 for one drink. That is the unit rate. Now we need to find the unit price. So if we look at our notes, the unit price is the rate to, that tells us the price for one unit, like the price of one can of soda in a six pack. So when we're doing these problems, it's important to remember that when we set up our ratio, we should have the price over the item. So let's apply this to our problem. 24 ounce jar of salsa for $2.88. I need to write the price as the numerator of my ratio and the unit or the item as the denominator. So I have two dollars and eighty-eight cents for twenty-four ounces. I want to have a denominator of one, so I am going to divide 
both the numerator and the denominator by 24. Two dollars and eighty-eight cents divided by twenty-four is twelve cents. So that's what we'll write on the top. And then twenty-four ounces divided by twenty-four is one. So we have one ounce. That's what goes on the bottom. So our unit price is twelve cents per ounce. Twelve gallons of gas for fifteen dollars and twenty-four cents. Now remember when we set it up we want the price on top as our numerator and the unit or the item as the denominator. So I have fifteen dollars and twenty-four cents for twelve gallons of gas. We want to find how much it is for one gallon of gas so we need to get the denominator to equal one meaning we're going to divide by twelve on both top and bottom. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video and work it out on your own and then press play to check. The unit price here is $1.27 per one gallon of gas and I don't know about you but I think going back to those prices would be fantastic. Now we have $42 for six books so remember you want to set it up with your price over your unit and then you want to see how you can get a denominator of one and whatever you do to the denominator you have to do to the numerator as well and that will help you find the unit price so you are actually going to be doing this completely on your own and we'll check it in class with our groups so once you finish this problem then we'll move on to the second video which is all about better buy